back, everybody. It's time for our weekly vibes. We need to find out what we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week. And we're going to start off with my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So for love, we've got the Page of Swords. When you get the Page of Swords, there's a couple of things happening here. One, you have to speak your truth. And you have to form or change your opinions of others based on that truth. So you may be um, seeking between your friends, family, relatives, and even people at work. You may be curious as to where this relationship is. Is it worth it? And you might actually be hearing a little bit of gossip, which might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. So you feel like somebody's betraying you. So just keep an eye out this week. When it comes to money, we had the five of pentacles. So financially, we're going to have a little bit of a loss here. Something's going to happen whether it's money that you depended on or um, some kind of um, financial hit that you weren't expecting. But you'll be fine. It'll work out. It's just that you might need some help in order to be able to fix your finances. And when this comes to work, this could just literally be that you just don't have faith in yourself. You don't have belief in yourself that you can get the job done. So it might be changing your view as to how you feel about yourself, especially when it comes to work or um, anything that you're trying to accomplish when it comes to finances. You can do it. You just don't have you just don't have the the belief in yourself. So you need to change that positive thinking, positive thoughts. Get in the mirror and say, I love you. You're great. You're wonderful. You can get this done. So when it comes to worry, we've got the seven of swords. Seven of swords is feeling like an imposter, feeling like um, you don't have everything it takes to do what it is that you want to get done. So it makes you feel like an imposter. And that is your stress. That is your worry. Your worry is that they're going to find out. They're going to find out you're not that great person. You're going to find out that you don't know the, how, to, how to do your job. It's like your insecurities are showing so strongly here. So as for advice, we've got the 10 of uh, pentacles. This is all about building up your own self-esteem. This could be literally like just, you know, sitting down and journaling. And if you're so inclined, write a book. If you're artistic and you like doing paintings and stuff, this would be a great time to kind of um, put something permanent in your life, something that you work on so that you can see that, yes, you can do something. Yes, you can accomplish it. And yes, you can finish it. And maybe that'll open up your... Um, belief in yourself to allow other good things coming in because a lot of this is self-imposed not necessarily things that are happening outside of you right so this week we are going to do the prairie majestic oracles so it's time for you to take a deep breath think about what situation what kind of anything that you're thinking about that you'd like to have some advice about something that you'd like and it could be just that you just want to have something to think about something interesting to to be able to think about during the day almost like a message for the day ready we've got breathe breathe how do you feel about your physical self Everybody is worthy of receiving and giving unconditional love. There is no one perfect shape, size, color, skill set, or age. In telling us otherwise, modern society imbibes harmful ideas that often pit us against the skin we're in. For earthworms who have no lungs, skin is critical for breathing. Wet soil makes this harder, which is why we usually see them after the rain. Have you experienced any storms lately? When earthworms surface, ask what's coming up from air and take a deep breath. During your self-assessment, you might want to ask, how do I feel about the natural changes of my body over time? What is my current relationship to health and well-being? Am I comparing my appearance abilities or ways of being to other stages in my life to those around me? Whatever it is, earthworm encourages you to step out of judgment mode. Without eyes, ears, skeleton, or appendages, he navigates using other senses and abilities. Turn yours on too. No matter your condition, in the exact moment, being alive is always a gift, even if, when, it doesn't feel that way. You're here and you still have choices. 
Wriggle up and aerate whatever emotional soil you find yourself in. Fill in your lungs and circulate oxygen throughout your whole body. What would foster empowerment and gratitude? Breathe it in and send that sensation to all the cells in your body. So next for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do we need to know about love? We've got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, this oftentimes means when it comes to friendships, love, even your co-workers, it's a time of, of letting go. Sometimes you have to walk away from that which you built up. There's a feeling here of almost like you feel depressed about it. There's there's something that you need to do. There's something that you need to change. There's some somebody, some relationship that you need to have come to a conclusion. It makes you feel sad, but you know it's the right thing to do. So when it comes to money, we have the fool. Okay, so guys, go check your finances. Make sure that you have all your bills being paid. Make sure that you're not assuming anything because assuming makes a fool out of you and me. Go and check your finances. And when it comes to work, this could be a situation where you need to be the fool. You need to be that um, that light, that lightening up of things so that you take the risk and you win because sometimes, you know, we're so scared. We're so held back by our own worries, our own, our own, um, feelings of, of, of unworthiness that we forget that it's life and we go through cycles. So take the risk. So if you're looking for a new job, if you're looking to expand yourself in your job, if you want to make yourself notice, this is a great time to get it done. When it comes to worry, we've got the queen of wands. So when it comes to worry, you're worried about loyalty. And I don't know if this is loyalty that you've had for somebody or loyalty that you expect from somebody. But somehow, some way, there's something to deal with um, that's nagging at you that you feel like there's going to be a line crossed, that loyalty is going to be lost. Either you have to say something to somebody that will break somebody's confidence or will make you not loyal to them. Or it could be happening to you. It's a situation where you're worried about somebody um, you know, telling your story and it's not their story to tell, that kind of a feeling. So when it comes to advice, huh? we got the sun. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. This is all about you have the ability to get things done. You need to build up your positive thinking. You need to become optimistic and you need to renew your, your trust in the world. You need to renew your trust in yourself. So take advantage of this time and believe in yourself, even if that means, you know, having to do silly things like look in your mirror and go, you're worth this, you can do this, I love you, all that kind of good stuff. That seems to be a theme today, but I guess it's never a bad thing to tell yourself that you're, you're lovely just the way you are, that self-care is important, and to love yourself, because if you love yourself, then you have enough love to give to everybody else. So... For our question of the week, we are using our Prairie Majestic Oracles. So think about that question, that situation that worries on your mind or just something that you're thinking about that you'd like some advice towards. And let's pick a card and see how your question or situation will be given advice. We have Climb. Everything is energy. All of us, from humans and faunas and floras and elements, operate at a natural frequency. Did you know you can choose to elevate yours? This can take many forms and manifest differently depending on the circumstances you're in. Bobcat's catch-all advice is pretty simple on its face. Go higher. He easily climbs trees for any number of reasons that might hold significance for you today. From the vantage point of a branch, he can attain a better lookout hunting advantage, safety, or rest. Getting there, however, requires a choice. Extend your claws and go up, up, up. Bobcat's recommendation may be actively expand your intake of the issue on your mind. You might need to see things from a higher place through the lens of your spirit self to enlighten your approach, strengthening the ability by practice, whether through meditation or quiet reflection, will serve you well and become a reliable tool in making decisions. Other times, bobcats may be signaling a need to retreat. In some situations, disengaging is the best way to shift your energy. Remaining in the current circumstances may be harmful, or maybe it's just not yours to live through or fix. 
Regardless, consider taking the high road and remove yourself altogether. Once ensconced in your new post, take a minute to survey the landscape and chill. You may want to ask the red-tailed hawk to help you recognize when, how, and where to dive back in. So for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, what do we need to know about love? We have the Ace of Cups. So when it comes to love, um, when it comes to family, friends, relatives, work, um, be careful about your emotions. Be, car be careful about being too emotional, being too sensitive. You may feel that this week. It seems like you're, there's an oversensitivity here. You may be feeling the pressure of life and it's like one little thing, one straw can break the camel's back. So feel your emotions and work through them. Maybe start journaling for yourself, um, but be careful when it comes to others. And you know, this could be, this also could be just telling the people that you are around, the ones that you love, that you love them, that you're grateful for them, that you're happy that they're in your life. When it comes to money, we have the chariot. So the chariot is all about building up personal willpower and when it comes to money or chariot, you have to see where your money's going. So I would check in on my finances, make sure that everything's being covered. And if there's anything that you need to change, change perspective on or change the way that you do something, the chariot is saying, take control. You take control. Don't let it happen f for you. Let it, let you be the one that makes it happen. When this comes to work, this could be saying, hey, you know what? You need to take control of the situation. You need to be responsible for your actions. Don't let anybody else take responsibility for them, nor take credit for them. You know what I'm saying? Either way. So that's really something you need to work towards being in charge for yourself. When it comes to worry, we have the nine of swords. So there's a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of probably just like not being able to sleep well, or maybe sleeping too much, having too many thoughts going through your mind. It's like you just can't calm yourself down because thoughts are just going over and over and over in your mind. You just can't can't get rid of it. But this also could mean that in the past, there could be something that has held you back and it's still holding you back. It's still holding you prisoner for whatever reason. You're just not able to let go of it. But it's time to think it through and let it go and forgive because guilt is not something that you want to carry around. When it comes to advice, we have the four of swords. So advice is to take a rest, to go get a massage, take some self-care, go talk to a family, a friend. Um, take care of yourself for a little while. Rest, relaxation, because... There's still some work to be done and there's going to be some conflict coming up in the near future that you're going to have to be prepared for. So make sure that you're at your best so that you can take care of what business is coming up. It's not terrible, but it just means there is going to be some, some confusion, some activity happening next week. So this week we are doing our Prairie Majestic Oracle. So this is a time when you take your deep breath. Think about that question or that situation that you'd like to have some advice on or just have some knowledge about. And let's see if the oracle can help you. Dabble. What would help me feel safe in opening up? Life would be boring if each of us lived in an echo chamber where our only exposure was to people and ideas exactly like our own, wouldn't it? At the same time, hearing something that challenges our beliefs or simply defers from them may feel unsettling. We might bristle, withdraw, or even feel afraid. While these responses can be natural or instinctive, we have the power to override them. First, remember that no matter what anybody else believes or says or does, no one can take away your right to choose the same for yourself. Second, activate one of the most important tools you have, your discernment. Whatever comes across your radar, use your intuition to screen it. The whole operation depends on what your filters are set to, though. Challenge yourself to be honest. Take ownership of your filters, your core beliefs, and overcome cognitive dissonance. Being open includes a willingness to receive new information and choosing to change. If you feel a pull to someone or something new, can you give yourself permission to be open without fear? You can dabble. Which is to say, get more information and then discern it if it feels nutritious to you. Have you ever seen a mallard with its face underwater and its tail straight up in the air? That's his version of filtering. 
His bill is lined up top to bottom with rows of tiny blades called lamellies, a built-in filter that traps food while keeping out anything in inedible. Try it and see what you discover. So for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, what do we need to know about love? Like, we got the moon. So there's some, uh, there's some worry, some uncertainty here. There's something that you're not quite sure about. So if this is to deal with a family, friend, coworker, um, there's something you don't know. And if you're intu in, intu intuitively feeling like something's off, then trust your judgment. Let things, let things come to you. Don't look for information. Don't ask for information. Let it come to you so you can see the whole picture before you make any decisions when it comes to your loved ones. When it comes to money, we have the page of pentacles. So this is all about having the energy for money. It's slow go, but you're, you're at the, you're at the beginning of where you could maybe create a new job, get a new job, or maybe reinforce the job that you have. Maybe find your joy back into your job. It's like you're reinforcing your money stream. So if you've been lacking money or if you've been lacking on the job, this means that there's going to be energy coming to fulfill that need for you. When it comes to worry, like we got the world. So you've got the world on your shoulders. You just feel like, um, like, there's so many limitations on you and the limitations are because of yourself. It's your own self-doubt. If you could just work through your self-doubt, if you could work through your negative feelings and change them, change them to positives, you could do so much better and would be doing so much better. You are holding yourself back. You are doing this to yourself. This is self-fulfilling prophecy because for whatever reason, you feel like you need to suffer when you really shouldn't. When it comes to advice, we got the page of cups. So look for the person that can help you. Look for the person that can, on an emotional level, on a spiritual level, can really re reflect to you and understand you and maybe can help you either just talk it out without giving you any advice. And if you want some advice, maybe ask that person because that person seems to have similar experiences. So look for somebody who can help you, who can guide you if that's what you're looking for. So... This week we are doing the Prairie Majestic Oracle. So this is the time when we take a deep breath. Think about your question, your situation, and let's see what the Oracle answer is for you this week. Got it? Turn. Process of becoming yourself that amorphous, oft-used evolutionary destination is lifelong. And yet we actually have to keep showing up in every moment as we are and before we know everything. Gasp. Dragonflies zip through the airs towards you with encouraging confidence, negotiating a maze only he can see. Who are you now? What do you want to become next? Change is up to any time. You don't owe anyone an explanation for your evolution and nothing requires loyalty to past versions of yourself. Anyone that tells you otherwise is an illusion. Dragonfly is a terrifically adept flyer with incredible speed, using precision born of his ability to independently control each of his four wings. He can change course on a whim, making angled turns with ease. His views of the world from all directions too, except he can't see directly behind him. Much like Butterfly, his transformation from larva to adult is dramatic. Today, he counsels flexibility in your relationship with what you perceive as who you are. Give yourself license to constantly develop your personal truth and sense of self. You are free to follow any direction that catches your fancy, even at high speed, eyes open to anything that will aid you in your own never-ending transformation. Leave the past behind and focus on the next turn that feels right for you. Seek out compass plant, coyote, mallard, and wind if you're looking for an extra pep talk. So my friends, that is our weekly vibes for this week. As always, we have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and until the next time we chat, take care, cheerio, and God bless.